Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This is a uh, knife that was loaned to me by my buddy Jordan. I'm going to just show you guys the knife today uh, and I'm going to do a little bit more research because I want to be able to bring you guys some more information on the knife. But this is the uh, GEC canoe knife. The pattern is 16, if I'm not mistaken, yes. The 16 um, rust red jig bone canoe knife. So before we open this up, let me show you what I have here today and what I carried. This is my um, my uh, White Owl, my GEC 68 White Owl. And let's see if I can get you in on the Tang Stamps. This is from 2011, you can see there by the 211s, a <clears throat> little bit of patina. Very cool pattern. Um, love the, the coloring. I know it's not coming off the best. Um, it's sunset here and I like to use natural light, but and it's sunset, um, on Friday, which this will release on Saturday. But anyway, on to the canoe knife before we lose even more light. So I showed you guys the tube a second ago. Here is the tube again, in case you guys wanted to take a look at that. And the canoe knife is an equal ended knife, but it has these two um, added bolsters here with the raised portions toward the inside of the knife. And the canoe pattern has two blades. So in this case, we have a spear, which you can see here. The spear blade has no half stop. You can see that this is a pattern production premiere from 2012 the uh, 16 is the pattern the 2 is the number of blades 2 is the is to signify the type of main blade which is spear and then the 1 2 is the year in case you hadn't heard me uh describe that before so you can see here not not an extremely strong pull but i'd say a, a nice pull of a 5 there's a nail nick here nice satin blade uh, Tidiute etch, I know that people are torn on that. It has nickel silver bolsters, which as you can see, they've seen a little bit of wear, but nothing, nothing awful. On this side, we have a pin blade. And you can see here the uh, tang stamps on the pin blade. Nothing on the back. Also, no half stop on this pin blade. And again, I'd say maybe the pull is about a four on the pin blade. The centering and everything, well, the alignment of the blades, there's really not any centering here, is excellent. You can see how that blade has um, been profiled to accept the secondary on this side. You can also see how there has been a um, swedge cut on this side of the blade that is not on this side to allow for the passing of this secondary pin blade. So just a cool little knife. Um, as I said, this is rust red jig bone. And like I said, I know the coloring might not be coming across the best, but I, I'm gonna do another video when I have a little more information about the pattern for you guys, but you can kind of see it there. So just a cool little knife I wanted to show off for you guys. Um, here it is next to my white owl. Just in case you happen to have a white owl and you want it to kind of see the two side by side. I uh, appreciate you guys watching as always. Like I said, I'm going to do a follow-up video on this knife. Um, tell you a little bit more history about it. Hold on one second. It looks like there's a sticker on the bottom. So I don't know where this knife was purchased, but it was an $80 knife whenever it came out in uh, 2012. So um, I want to cover a little more history on the knife. Talk with you guys a little bit more. Uh, before I ship this off to my buddy Jordan, I've had it for about a, two weeks now. He said take my time, but I want to go ahead and get it back to him. I appreciate you guys watching, and remember, a lazy man carries a dull knife. 